Now you actually have an album out, Mi Tradicion, mm -hmm. and you know it's buzzing. People are liking it. You're getting shows or whatever. Yeah, but all that stuff. Mm -hmm, for real. Yeah. So now you get contacted um, to go to Belize. Yeah. Right? Well, we get contacted. We get contacted. Yeah, you know, because we both went. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Oh, we yeah, get contacted. <laughs> yeah, we get contacted, Um, you know, to go to um, Belize by Mike Williams. Shout out to Mike Williams. Yeah, Mr. Mike, past tense. Past tense, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Or whatever. So, how was that Belize experience? Oh man, I never, I never felt so much love from from the people like Belize. Yeah. Belize is a different type of love. I love, I love my Honduran people. We all got different at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. But Belize, got different from Belize are yeah. really different. They actually mm -hmm. make you feel appreciated. Yeah, like they show a different type of love. Yeah. You yeah. know what Belizeans I experienced just for the first time, and that's um basically. You know, Belizeans don't care what part of Honduras you're from or what right. family are you. They just ask you, hey, Garifuna, tell about whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, they ask you, you Garifuna? And once you say yeah, it's just like, yo, you right? family now. And that was the first thing they asked us when we yeah. We got to on Dangriga. Uh huh, exactly. Yeah. Like, yo, y'all Garifuna, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then it's, it was just love after that. Yeah. It was no, what's your last name? Right, none of that. You know, quien es tu abuela, or you know, none of those things. <laughs> Oh, whatever. Like Belize is love, man. Oh, mm -hmm. man. That was one of the best performances we had, too. Yeah, yeah it really Belize. was. Yeah. What did you um? What did you like about Belize? Um, What I like is is the unity people got over there. Mm -hmm. You know, the unity, the music, the love for music, mm -hmm. how serious they take music over there as well. Yeah. Well, we all do. We all do. Everybody, every every country, mm -hmm. every from Honduras, Guatemala, Belize, we all got our own thing. Yeah. But within Belize, it's like, wow. These people actually harmonize mm -hmm. on some. You 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 don't got to tell this person they these guys just connect. Yeah, and it's amazing. It's amazing. Nah, you know, the love true. out there is beautiful. I remember how hot it was when we got there. Oh yeah, that Ooh. heat was crazy. That heat. Oh man, I don't it's know. The same, it's the same. It's the it's the same heat that's in San Pedro when you step out the that airport. Same heat. That same heat. It was hot. It's crazy. Hopkins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man. It was a decent ride too. It was like yeah. what, like a, almost two, a three hour drive. Three hour drive, yeah. yeah. Three hour drive. Mm -hmm. nah, it was one of the best trips though. Yeah. So was the turnout good in Belize? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Every yeah. CD that we took out there, uh huh, gone. Yeah, nah, that's what's up. <laughs> that far gone by. <laughs> I remember Belize. We had we had the honor to work with um with AKA Primo too. Yeah, AKA Primo. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He was he was playing you know the the, yeah. the tambor for us. Yeah, he did a great job. Um, mm -hmm. I want to give a big shout out to Seals as well. The great hospitality, you know. Yeah. The whole family out there. They did wow. Yep. For Treat real. Us like kings. <laughs> yep. I don't know if Auntie Heather is ever going to see this, but she probably don't even remember us, but that's the lady that let us stay in her yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we was out there, and there was a house right in front of the beach. Right like, in front of the beach. Like, you open the door, and you just see the beach. Like, yeah. it, was, it was beautiful. Belize was great. Belize, yeah. The Chinese food, too. That's what it... Yeah, we was... <laughs> Them burgers they had over there, too, bro. <laughs> the burgers... The Belkin beer. What is it? Is it Belkin or Belkin? Belkin, yeah. yeah the Belkin, right? Yeah. yeah we, it was fun. It was, it was fun. fun. Yeah. Belize in the rum? Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, for real. Yeah, Belize is love, yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of love. G King, man. Another human being there. Mm -hmm. Yo, Took remember, us to his remember, house. Um, remember, um, 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 damn, what's this dude's name? Um, 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 Buckwild. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a character right yeah, there. He was a character. <laughs> he was a character for, for real, for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, it was Bobo. great. <laughs> Belize was, was very great. All yeah. right, so um, so now after Belize, you know, um, well, not necessarily after Belize, right? But um, you know, a couple of um, you know, months after that, um, you get into um the making of your second album. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if it was already in the process or if we just had Mi Tradicion at the time. During that time, Belize, yeah. we had... We, before even going to Belize, we spoke about the second album. Oh, okay. Okay. And I had the idea. I'm like, oh, bro, we're going to Belize? I probably said, we're going to be in a different mm -hmm. environment to record. Yeah. But we never had time to record. Exactly. <laughs> it was... We had rehearsals. We had photo shoots, video shoots. Yeah. There was a lot going on, so... I think that guitar riff from... Evolution came from Belize. Yep. It's like a lot of... It's like that album is, is a whole mixture of mm -hmm. Australia and Belize. Okay. Yeah. Okay. From, like from my opinion, yeah. So how was that album? What was the goal? Because you already have a first album. Mm -hmm. So now that you, like, you know, we're getting ready to do a second one, what was your goal? What did you learn from the first one to do on the second one or even to not do 
Right. Mm-hmm. Now, the second one, I learned to have more confidence. Because the first one, I had, you know, mm-hmm. I, me personally, I felt like I, you know, I had the confidence, but not. It wasn't 100%. Yeah. The second one is like, as if, yeah, we're going to do this. I know this song, got this song. We're going to, you know. So I knew what I wanted as far as the sound. Yeah. Um, Having different guys, different musicians like Jovi, Alex Ciego, G mm-hmm. Famous. Yeah. Having everybody involved. Marlon, was, Marlon Zapata too Marlon from Zapata. Chica Rollins. You know, all these guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a, wow. I said, this album here is going to mark, it's going to, it's going to do something. It's going to do something. Mm-hmm. Hizo algo, you know. Yeah, that's what's up. Hizo algo, yeah, gracias a Dios. The actual <laughs> song, Evolución de la Música Garifuna. Uh, DJ Nelson. DJ Nelson, right? Yeah. Yeah, Nelson, yeah. i never forget that day. First mm-hmm. time in Houston. Yep, in Fifth Ward. Yeah, Fifth Ward, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That was a great, it was it's what a great was, album. What was DJ Nelson's input on Evolución de la Música Garifuna? Do you mind sharing it with us? I remember G Famous had his phone. Mm-hmm. He started playing this beat. Okay. So he was playing a couple of beats. He was. Yeah. But it was one beat that G Famous played that it caught all of our attention. Yeah. Even you. I told him that's the one that, <laughs> yeah. we, that, that we need that. Yeah. So the announcer was like this Yo, Andy, Andy, look. Something with. Yeah. Something about love. You know, Tito, yeah. Tito you, know, you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Like, he's single with my. I'm like, yeah. okay. So he started, he started, he started singing that. He started mm-hmm. like, you know, singing that yeah. a little bit, like, you know, humming it. And I'm like, ah, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That, I remember that day. And ever since then, you grabbed the beat. Mm-hmm. We went to the studio back in the, we, I think, we linked up two weeks later or a week after. Yeah. We started jamming to the beat in the studio. Mm-hmm. You, you know, you added some guitars to it. Yeah. And. Huh. Yeah, it's different. Evolución de la Música, yeah. that's a very tropical song. Yeah, yeah. And it it's is. not just because I, um, you know, produced it, but it's, you know, sometimes, you know, we got to give credit where it's due. Yeah, of course. Of and course. Um, once again, not just because I did it. <laughs> um, but nah, it's very tropical because of the sound. Like I told you, when Jose first played that, I mean, when G Famous first played that beat, <laughs> I'm like, yo, yeah, we need that. We need that in our lives right now, yeah. all of us. Me as a producer, you as an artist, <laughs> Nelson as a DJ as slash a DJ. songwriter too. Like, yeah, we all need that. Or it's whatever. crazy, bro, because the first time we actually performed that song, mm-hmm. DJ Nelson at the event was... He was actually there. Oh, okay. I okay. remember. Um, Sada Tai song. Oh, that's where we first played that? Yeah, I believe okay. so. Was okay. it there? Yeah, it was there. Yeah. Okay, okay. That was an album release party. Mm. Oh, no. No, no, it no the album it, release it was, party was in Brooklyn. It was in Brooklyn. Yeah, in Brooklyn. But the promoter had put in the fly album release party and the other day, I remember. Oh, uh, okay. But um, mm-hmm. DJ Nelson was there when we, perform- yeah, when we had performed the song. The first time was actually in Brooklyn. Okay. I'm okay. In Brooklyn, yeah. I, I hardly don't remember that performance because that that yeah night it was, was a that was a long night yeah it was yeah, a long yeah, night for real you went through a lot you know <laughs> personal personal <Word>. <laughs> mm-hmm. 